It is day two here at AWA, and right now I've got the a little Speed Racer cast with me here. We've already talked with uh, Peter Fernandez last time we saw you at um, Oticon. But now this time, I, we have Corrine Orr with us, who was the voice of Trixie. Right, and Spritel. Now, Corrine, how did you get into voice acting and acting in general? Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm Canadian, and I grew up in a little French town called St. Hyacinth. <laughs> and then we moved to Montreal, and I had a weird French accent. So my mother sent me for elocution lessons and drama. And then I got hooked. I was like 8 or 10, and I started working professionally at age 14. Wow. So now I don't have any French accent. I can't even speak French. I forgot. Never would have, never would have guessed. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I think, a, I think you have a weird accent right now. Peter, you always give me trouble. Oh dear. <laughs> now, Peter, remind us. How did you get into acting? Uh, by uh, luck, almost. Uh, uh, I was a model, child model, from uh, from when I was seven to when I was eleven. And on my eleventh birthday, I got my first Broadway show. When you start acting when you're young, you never grow up. So we, we have a great young attitude all the time. That's why our life is good. No, that is a good thing. That's why you guys, you're still doing this. Yeah, Otherwise we love you, it. Yeah. I tell people I should be on my rocker and say I'm off my rocker. <laughs> I must tell you, in, in uh, Speed Racer, uh -huh. although we've had a lot of fame from it, we never got one set in residuals. So, it was, like, I think residuals for cartoons came in 1985, and we did it in the 60s. Right. 67. So we're very famous, but we're poor. <laughs> oh, man. Now, you also did some time um, on CBC Radio um, that led to CBC Television. Right. Tell us about this drama to children's soaps. Oh, I did a, a show called Shailen, okay. which I was a mouse. And I think that's where I st first started using the voice that became Snuggle and be Snuggle the Bear and then became Spritel in the Speed Racer cartoon. That's where I first started doing weirdo voices, doing puppets. Yeah. Now, um, speaking of Speed Racer, between you two, um, <laughs> how much have you enjoyed working on Speed Racer? Peter? Well, it's really, I think you should answer that one. Uh, I was, you know, directing and everything else, so it was harder work for me than just having a ball like the other actors. Yeah, we had a good time with the four of us, and we really connected. Now you don't do everything together, you separate them. Right. Then we could, you know, work off each other, and we had a lot of fun. We all liked each other so much, so it was, it was great fun. It was great fun doing it, and it, I remember... One day doing spritel, my vocal cords started to bounce. That has never happened before or after. And I went to the dark and he said, shut up for two days. And, I, and then I got cured again. <laughs> but they bounced. I, it was such a freaky feeling. I've had that happen once before. So I understand what you mean. Really? A lot of talking. My gosh. Yeah. Yeah, you need voice rest after that. Yeah, you do. We, we were saying that I did a, another cartoon with Peter, with Princess Guinevere and the Jewel Riders. And after, I would run off to a movie and just be quiet for two hours so I didn't have to speak. That's not a bad idea. No, just kind of... Korean, I would think that'd be very difficult. <laughs> oh, you are naughty, Peter. My gosh. What am I going to do with you all these years? You still drive me crazy. <laughs>